Hello and welcome to another edition of Another Book Review. This week I'll be reviewing the novel 2034 by James Trevitas and Elliot Ackerman. I'll talk very briefly about the authors, go into a spoiler-free overview of the plot, talk about what I liked about the book, what I didn't like about the book, who I'd recommend the book to, and finish off with what I'll be reading for next time. Uh, Admiral James Trevitas uh, is a recently retired uh, Navy Admiral, and Elliot Ackerman uh, was a member of the Marine Special Forces. Uh, he served in Iraq. Uh, both of them are very well respected, have multiple uh, books written between the two of them, as well as co-authoring books with others. Uh, this book, 2034, uh, is a speculative look at what would happen if a world war broke out in the year 2034. Uh, the book opens with a, an exchange between the uh, United States Navy in uh, uh, disputed territorial waters uh, in the South China Sea. And from there, uh, there's an escalation. I won't go into plot details because I don't want to spoil it. But the book is told from the viewpoints of several different characters all around the world. You have a, uh, a fighter pilot in the U.S. You have uh, the woman who is manning the uh, ship that uh, initially counters, encounters the, uh, the I think it's a trawler, Chinese trawler ship that kind of kicks off the entire event. You have an ex uh, Iranian, a retired Iranian soldier who's brought back in for kind of one last mission. You have a member of the Chinese military, a high official in the Chinese military. Um, you have members of the president's uh, staff, and I think those are all the main characters. Uh, the book is set in the year 2034, and the book is kind of told each of each of these characters has their own input into the book. It's not an oral history. It is told chronologically straight through just from different points of view from whoever the character, uh, the chapter is, is focused on at the time. Uh, I thought that the idea of a kind of near world war was pretty interesting. I think that the initial uh, conflict that, that kicks off the book was very felt very realistic and something that could potentially cause uh, such an escalation of events. I think that there is a chapter written where uh, there is a dogfight between uh, one of uh, the main characters is in a dogfight with two other uh, planes. I thought that was really well written and really tense, uh, so I thought that was appropriate. I think that from a game theory situation, uh, a game theory point of view, the book is really well written in terms of if we do this, what is our opponent going to do in retaliation, how that thought process works. I thought that in terms of things that I didn't like quite as much, I felt that there was too much of a focus on the military situation, which I think hurt the book in the sense that um, all of these military actions do have consequences to the... Um, civilian populations of, of all these places. I felt like there should have been a representative from the media or something to give the world more of a textured feel. Uh, I don't think we get the sense of how devastating the the wars really are, except there's like sentences here and there, but they don't really have a lot of context to them to where they make sense given the events of the book. And I think having a media character would have helped uh, uh, kind of solve that issue uh, in a way that would have been helpful. I felt just in general the characters were hit, hit or miss for me. Some of them I did feel find interesting and others I felt were pretty thin and felt like cliches. Uh, I think that in terms of the plot itself, I think the plot was more or less realistic. I think that there were some interesting choices that were made. I think there's one country in particular that rhymes with Lermany. Uh, that is strangely absent from the book, given its even its current role in the geopolitical situation. Um, I was surprised that that country did not play a larger role in the in the events of the book. There's also just kind of strange things that aren't really ever explained. One of them is that the president is a, a female in the year 2034, and it's never explained why. It's never explained a who she is, so it's we don't know if it's someone. Uh, who we would know today or not, uh, and B, it's never really fully explained, but the, there's been a, a dissolution of the two-party system, so apparently she is running as an independent. There's also a strange throwaway line about a ship being named after Michelle Obama, and so it's not quite clear 
is Michelle Obama supposed to be the president? If not, why is there a ship named after a first lady, which is relatively unknown or rare to the best of my knowledge? And I don't know if that's a joke that went over my head or just uh, a commentary that I didn't understand. I thought that was kind of strange. Uh, so there's some, some things like that where they're just kind of throwaway lines sometimes and you're just like, is, this, is there supposed to be a deeper meaning to this? If not the context, if there is, it's not really, the context isn't really there to understand it. Um, so that I found kind of frustrating at times. It didn't fully pull me out of the book. I think the book ultimately is a, an interesting idea. And I think that there are sections of it that are really, really written relatively well, but I found a lot of the writing to be kind of stilted and I didn't feel it had the kind of the depth that it needed to really connect with me fully. I think part of that is they were writing, they were trying to write a thriller. I think they succeeded because it is a page turner. It is something I think you can read in three or four days pretty easily. But I think in order for them to get there, I think they had to sacrifice some of those deeper details and deeper connections to the world. Uh, there's, like I said, there's a couple of things where I, I would have changed or had an outside character being more of a media presence to really get the consequences of some of these actions at a civilian level. I think that would have been really helpful. Reading it as someone who is a civilian himself is not in the military. It would be interesting to see uh, the, the, the takes for people who are military and, and or ex-military and, and get their take on, on this, how realistic it felt. It felt fairly realistic to me. Like I said, from the game theory perspective, I could follow all of it. And ultimately, uh, it did come down, you know, like a lot of things, it comes down to uh, appearances and what is retaliation going to look like? Is it going to give us the moral upper hand? Is it not tactically what happens? There's a couple quibbles I had here and there with some of the things, but overall I thought it was an enjoying, re an enjoyable read. I would recommend it if you're someone who likes military fiction or someone who uh, is interested in kind of the geopolitical future, the near future. I think it's a quick, interesting read. Uh, so 2034 by Elliot Ackerman. And James, uh, I believe his last name is pronounced Stravitas, and if I mispronounce that, I do apologize. Um, and next time I'm going to be reading uh, Lightning by Dean Kuntz. And until next time, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll have my Twitter link in the, the comment section below. Until next time, bye.